Hey dating masses, Michael here with idateadvice.com. Today's topic is how to portray confidence as a guy. Think back quickly to any movie where the guy, the main character, won the girl's heart, he grew to success, or he conquered his goals. It's more than likely that he had been outwardly confident at some point during that story. Society in general tends to favor guys with confidence over those without pretty much every time. It's an attractive quality, having confidence, that we look for, that helps us decide a man's ambition, his drive, his success. It helps us size him up. And people are constantly doing that. We always size each other up. Now ask yourself, are you conveying enough confidence? Here are some points on how to portray a confident image as a guy. The first thing is be mindful of your body language. I do speak about this in a couple of other videos. Uh, it speaks volumes about you while you're not speaking at all. You know, walking upright, hands out of your pockets, chin up, shoulders back. These quintessential things that you hear about, right? Eye contact is paramount. Eye contact fosters a mutual respect between individuals. When you look into somebody's eyes, you're capturing their soul and they're yours. So be always sure to stare directly into somebody's eyes when you're talking to them. If you're looking to the side and you're speaking to them and you're trying to convey a message, it's going to look very unsure of yourself. If you're looking down, looking up, looking around, all it says is I'm not confident enough to look at you while I'm talking to you because I'm not sure what you're thinking. It doesn't matter what they're thinking. You are talking. The second point. You want to dress to impress. You don't always have to be looking like you're going to a wedding. Uh, but dressing sharp promotes a confident image all by itself. People know only what they see, and essentially what you show them is what they see. So the image of you standing in front of them tells them a lot. Dressing well can say a lot about you as a man. It shows maturity, shows that you're well-groomed, etc. Own your words and own your ideas. Uh, speaking confidently means saying what's on your mind without fear that you might upset somebody. Now, I'm not saying be a jerk. You know, don't go around saying things that hurt people's feelings. But know that it's okay to speak and be heard, even if what you're saying is controversial or even better, against the grain of popular belief. Don't be afraid to say something that people are thinking but are also afraid to say. A confident man always believes strongly in what he says and is prepared to fight for those beliefs and to stand up for what you believe in. Now, when it comes to women, approach women straightforward and as if you want to get to know them, not as if you need to. I see this a lot, okay? So guys come to me and they say, I was out at a bar and I was really trying to impress this woman and she just, she didn't, she ended up saying something about me not being confident or, or I could tell that she didn't think I was confident or if she maybe later heard that, you know, she made some sort of comment about it. He wants to seem more confident. Um, don't approach women as if you need to talk to them or if you need to be with them. Nobody wants to be with somebody, no woman wants to be with a guy who's very needy. Uh, this is not an attractive quality. So, you know, it's no surprise that confidence reigns supreme with women. It's the idea of the alpha male. You know, it helps to invite them, let's think about this, it helps to invite them along on a sporadic plan to do something out of the ordinary. You know, be sporadic, be exciting, be new. Um, do stuff that other guys aren't doing. Say things that other guys aren't saying. Uh, don't, don't just walk up to a girl in a bar and say, Hi, how are you? My name is Mike. I'd like to get to know you. Uh, it just it doesn't work that way. If you're going to invite a girl on a date, don't ask her to go to, uh, I don't know, a uh, movie, dinner, and uh, I don't know. And then you expect something to, to rise from that. It, doesn't, it just doesn't show that you're uh, confident to just do everything that everybody else does. What takes a lot of confidence is to go off on your own, um, try to make your own plans, things that are really out of the ordinary, you know? Uh, don't be afraid to take the initiative and be bold in the way that you speak with women. Many women have never been told or are very rarely told things like, you know, that dress really brings out your eyes, or, wow, you really look amazing today. You know, if you say it like that, you say it with this veracity, this, this real deep meaning, they love that. And I mean, people in general just love being spoken to like that. Um, but saying such things shows them that you're not afraid to compliment them and not being afraid is part of being a real confident guy. Uh, women are sensitive to confidence as it is largely what they look for when they're searching for a mate. Always be aware of your actions, be aware of your image, 
and the way that you speak and continue to grow to be the confident guy you want to be. All right, Dating Masters, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to get a new dating advice video each week. We welcome your questions and comments, and as always, our response is free of charge. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, Dating Masses. Michael here with iDateAdvice.com. Today's topic is how do you ask a woman for her number? How do you go about getting it, asking for it, attaining it, getting to the next point, which is the first date? 